How can different species peacefully coexist anyway? This is this really bit right here. This, this is the stuff for real. Whew. My guy, my guy, my guy, new let my man been through it, bro. He not human, nor he's a million. He a dragon for real. If anything, I feel like he in the perfect position to judge. But damn. What was that? Apologies, it seems like my memories got the better of me. I tried my best to suppress the power of Hydro within myself, but it seems like it still caused the emotions within the Fountain of Lucene to boil over. It's not like he about to cry. Due to my negligence, the overflow of emotions and memories must have affected you as well. Are you all right? This man sounds like he on the verge of crying, and it's crazy. Wow. I'm fine. The Hydro Dragon is more powerful than Paimon thought. Anyways, the last time we came here, the Traveler only heard voices from the Fountain of Lucene. No emotions boiling over or anything. It is as you said. This might be because I am different. It is not only the Fountain. I can sense emotions from all waters in Fontaine. Rivers, lakes, and even the rain. That sounds awesome! That's impressive. But I rarely ever do anything like this. Emotions carried by water are always chaotic and disconnected. As an outsider, having my mind occupied with irrelevant memories isn't exactly a pleasant experience. The memories I saw were related to you. Which ones? From when you bought, brought um, Corinne to the Court of Fontaine. It's fine. I prefer not to speak of those memories. That does not mean I am deliberately hiding them. It was a coincidence, but perhaps it is a good thing that you saw everything in that form. You should now understand why I believe there to be a conspiracy behind all this. These two cases are much too similar. I felt like I needed to do something. Uh, I'm starting to lose track of what you're saying. Oh my goodness gracious. This is one of the moments I just hate it when they do Paimon like this. It's like, bro, let Paimon in on the emotional stuff. Y'all do it every time for everything else. So when there's a moment where she needs to be a part of it as well, especially something as serious as this, it's stupid to have her be like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm dumb. Like, come on. Paimon out of the conversation. Paimon wants to help too. There we go. Thank then you. Let us get back to the point. While I was investigating the fountain, I discovered something strange. I did not sense too much hatred towards me within its accumulated emotions. However, I did find some resentment directed towards Kiara. If I remember correctly, it seemed to be related to a smuggling case. I don't know what caused this to happen, but it seems like there won't be a shortcut to finding the organization that may be pulling the strings here. Oh! Didn't we read about that in one of the documents? You've read about it? In that case, the resentment should have come from that incident. Huh? What are you doing here? I was just about to look for you at the Palais Mermonia. What's up, Navia? I didn't expect your fine thigh having... Mm. <laughs> Acting like a dog around here. <laughs> Navia! Nice to see you again! Is there something we can help with? I've heard some things. But I'm not purposely asking around or anything. Don't worry. Rumors are abroad that someone's scheming against Melusines, and that you're investigating the case. So I told the Spina di Rosula to keep an eye out for leads. We've had unfamiliar faces showing themselves at the Fleur of Sandra lately. Maybe you'll find the suspects <coughs> among them. Thank you. <coughs> Where did you hear about all this? The Chief Justice out on investigation. Accompanied by the Traveler from afar. No matter how you conceal your whereabouts, there will be countless eyes watching you. You talked to Kiara, but didn't ask her to keep things secret. People curious to know asked around for information, then it was only a matter of time before word of the threatening letter spread all across Fontaine. Dang, bro. So that's what Charlotte meant. Indeed. I did not expect that this could be kept hidden for too long. But the rumors still spread faster than I imagined. Hmm. You know, it could be because you attract more attention than you think. 
Anyway, any progress with the investigation? The suspects who threatened Kiara might have to do with a certain smuggling case, but it is still uncertain if there is, in fact, another party behind all this. We are planning to return to the Palais Mormonia to revisit some details and identify the senders of that threatening letter. All right, then I'll round up the Spina di Rosula and follow up on their progress. Wait for my word. Ta-ta! Later, Navia. Uh, Nevelet, do you think there'll be any problems now that the word is out? I have already considered that possibility, and I do not think that there will be any. As a matter of fact, once the word gets out, no one would dare to harm Kiara in broad daylight. What is more important is how the case is perceived by the public. 400 years ago, they chose to side with the old regime and direct their resentment towards the Melusines. I hope the same won't happen again. Let us head back to the Palais. Strange. What are these people doing out on the streets so late at night? Did something happen? Let's take a look around. Have you heard? Someone's plotting against a melazine. This is 100% the truth. Even the Chief Justice is investigating in person. Oh my goodness. The the people of Modern Fontaine are defending the mezzanine. They sent her hoarding around her to protect her in case something crazy happened. What? That's it. Who's been threatening melazines? Show yourself. Our enemies are lurking in the shadows and won't easily reveal themselves. But no amount of hiding will keep us from finding them. See? This is where you need, this is where society needs to get to. Granted, society is sort of like that right now, and especially in the US, it's sort of like that like that right now. But the problem is it's an overcorrection, which is the problem. That's exactly what I wanted to say. The guards have already begun to take action. We can't just stand by and watch. Respect. Think about how much we owe them. Now that they're in danger, how can we just sit back and do nothing? Everyone, please stay alert to your surroundings from now on. If you see any suspicious persons, report them to the guards immediately. Now look at this. It feels like you've been following me this whole time. Did something happen? We were informed that. <clears throat> nope. We just finished our shifts and happened to be strolling by. Have you had dinner yet? Why don't we check out the new items at the dessert shop together? Such beauty to see. This isn't a good time to be out and about. It says the one with a growling stomach. Don't act tough. I bet you're hungry too. <sighs> All right. Let's go buy a cake or something. See, this is beautiful. This is coexistence right here. It's locked in. Respect it. You shouldn't ever skip meals. Especially if you have another shift scheduled for later. Um, let's continue. I heard even Nervulet's keeping an eye on the situation. <laughs> this is the perfect chance to get promoted. We gotta make sure we give it all we've got. Even though they're doing it for the sake of possibly getting promoted, it's still for the benefit of both themselves and the mezzanine, so I respect it. Seriously? Were you planning to shirk your duties if Nervulet wasn't involved? <laughs> Relax, I was just playing. We've worked together for years now. If something happened to them, I'd be haunted by regret for the rest of my life. That's more like it. We should stand guard until the criminal has been caught. Come and fight me instead, you cowards! Have you heard? Even the special patrol came to help. See? Knew that thing is mine. I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is what Chlorine, Chlor, uh, Chlorine, Caroline always wanted. Shh, look, is it that Nervulet? I think he's looking at us. Yeah, you staring pretty heavy, my guy. <laughs> Looks like there's nothing to worry about. Hmm. This is truly wonderful. So, wanna go over and say hi? No. No, I should stay where I am. My appearance could give rise to unnecessary commotion. Let us stick to our plan and return to the Palais Mormonia. The faster we uncover the truth, the better.
Hmm. The smuggling case was solved by the joint forces of the guards and the Marechaussee Phantom. This is the one. The list of involved suspects should be... Ah, found it. What does it say? The principal offenders Domenico, Inica, Yuna, and others have been caught. They have been sent to the fortress of Meropede following trial. Those with close connections or mutual interests with the offenders, but who did not participate in the case, will not stand trial. Among them, surveillance of Essain has ceased on account of his good behavior. All other personnel remain on our watch list. So many names. Is the one who sent that threatening letter to Kiara on the list? Yes, there is something suspicious about Essain, to be precise. It seems like he's closely related to the core members of the smuggling case, and he moves around without much restriction. Should we tell Navi about this? Monsieur Nivellet, someone claiming to be from the Spina du Rasula, just checked in with us. He said, and I quote, <clears throat> We have located the suspect, they're chatting at the cafe. Huh? How did Navi find them so quickly? We've only just figured out the suspect's name. Somebody. I too am perplexed. The cafe isn't too far from here. We should head over and take a look. Somebody planning to throw him off the case. That's what they're doing. They're trying to throw him off the trail. Slime ballish behavior. Try to throw the man off the off the trail. Let's see. Can I teleport? I can't even teleport there. Oh, never mind. It's that place right there. Okay. Stupid thing. I don't know what's going on. Anymore now. Shut up, Pama. These are the people who have had recent dealings at the Marachose Phantom. They're usually hidden in the Fleuve Zandra, but I sent for someone to invite them over. Invite them over? Exactly. Now, I heard there's great coffee here, and so I asked them if they'd like to come and have some. Yeah, it's our pleasure to be guests of the Spina di Rosula. <laughs> I've wanted to have a meetup like this for ages. These people are scared of their pants right now. They're like, damn, we about to get cooked. Uh, something feels off. But, oh well, let's get back to business. Is there anyone called Essa here? Yes, that's me. That boy stood up in attention. Ho! Might as well get up on your feet. Two toes put together, stand up straight. Your Essa? Yes. Yes, Monsieur Nervilette. Did you write that threatening letter to Kiara? That man ready to tear your throat out. You see how hard he's staring? Look at that. Hey, look, he got a, almost got a star-shaped eye. It's so close to being a Conrian star-shaped eye. Shoot, the Conrian bloodline being dragon blood is close to being true, if that's the case. But anyway, this man about to get his body knocked out his shoes. Um... Don't stutter now. <clears throat> I, I did, but I, I was just following orders. Orders from whom? Dominico. He was my boss. 
I couldn't disobey his orders. Dominico, where is he now? The fortress of Meropede. Well, uh, I'm afraid even the Spina would have trouble looking into that place. Looks like you'll have to make the trip yourselves. This was as much as I could do. You've done more than enough. I am extremely grateful for your help. Leave the formalities for later. You should find Dominico first. If he really is the one setting up the conspiracy, it'd be best if he's exposed as soon as possible. All right then, let's head to the fortress right now. That was wrong. Ooh. Wait, what? Wait, why is it asking me this now? Currently, going to trust me by following quest to become occupied. That's unfinished comedy. You can choose to continue quest from the. It's unfinished comedy. Current quest. Spin quest. Continue current quest. Okay, I think I will suspend the quest for now. To see what unfunny. Progress cannot be made on Occupied Quest. Hmm. Parts of the following quest become occupied. Wait, I'm trying, I'm confused. What's gonna stop, what is gonna stop me from continuing onward? I'm confused. Continuing the current quest may cause parts of the following quest to become occupied. Progress cannot be made on occupied quests. So I'm guessing that the bottom quest is considered the following quest. This coffee smells as good as ever. Let's continue. So weird. <sighs> that was a close call. <sighs> Are we really in the clear though? <sighs> that was a close call. <sighs> I'm not looking for you goofballs. Please escort the remaining guests back to the flu of Sandra. I appreciate your help. Yes, boss. Hmm. Damn, restart the recording. Am I seeing things? Risley, my guy. Welcome to the Fortress of Meripede, dear esteemed guests. Also, has anyone else noticed that the story, um, the character story quest, in particular with the five stars, have seemingly gotten better? Where they started cutting out the freaking NPCs more and started letting the playable characters start show up in the quest that actually mean worth more. Like, have anyone else noticed that? <laughs> This isn't anything new. I figured you had important matters to discuss when the two of you, not to mention the Chief Justice, showed up. Let's assume we've gone through the pleasantries and cut right to the chase. Hmm. I do remember a thing or two about Dominico. He once attempted to round up the other inmates and instigate a protest. He once attempted to, I said, meaning that it was over before it even started. And now he's threatening Melazines, is he? Better get shit, to be bro. honest, Dominico doesn't seem like much of a conspirator. The fact that the three of you bothered to personally investigate raises a flag. Is there something else going on behind the scenes here? Um, yeah. That dude, Dominico, about to get his shit rocked. <sighs> he's got the same concerns we do. I am concerned about this incident because something similar has occurred in the past. I wish to meet Domenico in person and have my questions answered. That's an easy one. Let me think. I think he's at... Oh, did I hear someone say Melazine? What happened? Sea Dream, poor Sea Dream. You can't let nothing happen to Sea Dream. If something happens to the rest of the Melazine, it's going to happen to her too. Sea Dream! A Melazine named Kara Kara Kirara? 
Kara, Kyria, Kyria received a threatening letter. Damn. Yeah, and we're investigating. The person who threatened her seems to be imprisoned here. Really? Is Kiara gonna be okay? There's no need to worry. Clarand is protecting her as we speak. Oh, well, that's great. Oh, but if the criminal's still... I is there anything you can do about this? Ah, head nurse. Do you require me to personally deal with the criminal? Rithesley. <laughs> he was like, oh, you want me to beat the shit out of that nigga? He was like, Rithesley. He was like, hey, I'm just okay. playing. I get it. I'll bring Dominico to you. That's your only demand, correct? He was like, yo, Riley, don't put your hands on that nigga Dominico before I get my hands on that nigga first. Think of it as more of a humble request. I'm here on my own accord, not to formally transfer a criminal for trial. I urge you to set aside any concerns. Thanks for the trouble. Consider me in your debt. Whoa. If Paima were you here, Grace, Paima would take this chance to ask for something really important. Well, were I still a criminal, I'd probably ask for a lighter sentence. But I'm sure Monsieur Nervillette would reject that. But enough jokes. I'll look for Dominico and bring him to you. Make yourselves at home. Our dear head nurse has mentioned you quite a few times, so I'm sure she has a lot to say. That nigga Dominico about to get hit. Teeth rocked out his lips. Please come with me to the infirmary. Ah, and watch your step. There's some pretty dark areas, so make sure you don't trip over anything. I'm doing. I can do Please rest here for a moment. Oh, and would anyone like anything to drink? Sweet tea. Hyman's mm, not that thirsty, but thanks anyway. Thirst is a warning sign that you're dehydrated, which means you have to drink up even before that. I'll bring you some tea. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Uh, typical sea dream. Concerned about everyone's health as always. Uh, why aren't you two saying anything? The criminals we passed by earlier. You noticed them too. The badges they wore on their chests looked quite familiar. I didn't notice it though. Familiar? Uh, Paimon didn't even realize they were wearing them. But if both of you say so, let's go ask them about it. Paul and, and I will go. You're not exactly excited for sore eyes around here. That's not a bad idea. I will stay here and wait for news from you. I didn't even see what they were wearing. Look how smooth that animation was. I place great trust in Ridesley, so I rarely visit the fortress of Meripede. However, exceptional circumstances call for exceptional measures. I hope I didn't cause him too much trouble. All right, let's go see what this was about. Cause I didn't even notice anybody. Anything you need? What's that the badge you're wearing? Oh, this? Are you interested in joining the mutual aid network? What's that? What's that? We have a very long history, going back as far as 400 years ago. We have never had many members throughout our history, nor do we have much of a reputation, but everyone treats each other like family. Helping each other is our purpose. At the same time, we seek to maintain just dealings as much as possible. Sounds like a pretty neat organization. <laughs> All we want is to defend ourselves. None of us have ever committed serious crimes, and we're not especially powerful either. We're at a natural disadvantage here in the fortress. But people won't give us a hard time if we stick together. Well, I got this strange feeling that this group is being used for some nefarious purpose. To look kind of familiar. The badge you're wearing? It's the symbol of the mutual aid network designed by our first president. From what I've heard, it's based on something called a medal of peace. I've never seen one of those medals for myself, though. Medal of peace. 
Oh my goodness, this group was started by the homie. The one who got it back in blood for his for the girl Carl Carl Clor Chlorine. 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 Whatever. The first president of our network was an amazing person. Powerful as he was, he never used his strength against anyone. He encouraged the weaker criminals to stick together and look out for each other. All of us have a lot of respect for him. Vatrin. Vatrin? I think his name was Vatrin. It must be Vatrin. Interested in joining the Mutual Aid Network? If you'd like to learn more, here's our flyer. Hmm. Okay. Our slogan may have evolved over the centuries, but our goal has remained unchanged. Here, this book is for you. You're welcome to come and sign up anytime. You should have gathered enough information. Let's head back and talk to Nouvellet. That's crazy. Nouvellet was tight. I mean, that that nigga, um, um, Vatrin. Vatri? Vatrin. I think his name is Vatrin. Vatrin was tight about what happened at that court case. Granted, home Nouvellet was correct in what he said. That... Your personal justice is not the same justice that is written in law. Uh, and for that, you've broken the law, which was correct. He was correct in his assessment, so. Did you manage to gather any intel? Mm-hmm. The people who wore the badges belong to an organization called the Mutual Aid Network. According to them, the badge's design was inspired by the Medal of Peace. Have you seen any of those before? I personally crafted two of them myself. They were awarded to Carol and Vautrin. Carol's Carol. medal was destroyed in a fire. The only one that remains should belong to Vautrin. Vautrin. Carol and Vautrin. Carol, Vautrin. Carol, Vautrin. I gotta remember. Oh. So the network was inspired by... Monsieur Nervillet, His Grace has requested your presence in his office. He's found Dominico. All right, let's go get this nigga. All right. Let us talk to him first and get to the bottom of this situation. Yeah, we got to run his pockets, nigga. Let's get it. Homeboy about to get his salad toss for real. <laughs> I know that's a pretty crazy thing to say about home. This dude was about to happen to his room, but he about to get bent over that desktop for disrespecting the muzzling. Sending threatening letters. Boy, he about to get hit. Teat rocked out. I'm gonna keep recording. Let's get it. We better go to the office area, not this damn downstairs area where we enter from the front door. You better be straight upstairs in the office. I wanna be in the office. I mean, the upper floor of the office. Dominico, you about to get all up in it. Yes, we're upstairs. Thank you. Allow me to introduce this fine gentleman, Dominico. Oh. Why don't you explain everything to him? N Nervilet? Wh what do you want? What are you going to do? Kill me? Calm down. I merely want to ask you a few questions. Now you look like you're about to kill him. Was it your idea to send that letter to a Melusine? Uh, I... Essain has already confessed, so there really isn't any need to keep hiding. Doubt that idiot! I can't believe I trusted him. Let me ask this another way. It was your idea to send that letter, correct? Yes. Who is pulling your strings? What? Y you're not trying to frame me for something I haven't done, are you? Hmm. It's best if you realize the gravity of your situation. The Chief Justice of Fontaine has been personally investigating your case. You know what that means? That means he about to bend you over and take you from behind if you don't answer these questions correctly. I assume your previous attempt to incite unrest at the Fortress of Meripede has something to do with this as well. I... 
I admit I acted on impulse. I'll tell you the truth. But before that, you must ensure my safety. I can do that. You see, we're all reasonable people here. I only intended to do some small business at first. Someone contacted me about delivering some goods and promised me a generous sum of more in return. After making a few trips, I was suddenly approached by the Marichose Phantom. They accused me of smuggling prohibited items, and I was put on trial. But I refused to accept any of that. The ignorant can be rightfully absolved from guilt, right? Well, I suspect that someone got me locked up here so they could get their hands on my goods. <sighs> mm. And then you decided to take revenge on the Melazines? Over that? Ignorance is not an excuse, by the way. My initial target was Nervy Lett. Everyone in the forces of Meripede was declared guilty by him, after all. So they must more or less hold a grudge against them, right? If I could get them to strike back. But for some reason, no one wanted to team up with me. That mutual aid network in particular. What did those nobodies even gain from trying to challenge me? Seriously. In the end, I had to redirect my focus onto Melazines to salvage things. I recall that Kiara was the one who confiscated my goods for inspection. So I asked one of the more approachable guards to send a letter, claiming that I meant to contact my family. But the letter was in fact addressed to Essa. I requested that he write a threat letter to Kiara and force it to resign from the Mari Chaussee Phantom. Am I to assume that the claims you've made are your own thoughts? Have you been in contact with any suspicious people recently? No. Is it true that all members involved in the smuggling scandal have been caught? Yes. And that's all I know. Hmm. Sijuin, please take him back to the detention center. I'll deal with him later. AK, I'm gonna mix his salad up later. That's what he meant. So, Monsieur Nuvillette, you were concerned that there might be a shadowy faction looking to capitalize on the delicate situation with the Melazines to stir up greater chaos? Yes, I experienced a similar incident in the past, so I had to be prepared for any possibility. And how long ago was this incident? 400 years ago. It, w it was legitly 400 years ago. So Riley probably hit over like, bro, you don't have nothing to worry about in this modern time. It was 400 years ago. More than 400 years. You might be overthinking this. Yep. Time can change a lot of things. Everything's different now. What do you mean? 400 years ago, you and the Melazines you brought to Fontaine were the outliers in society. But in the present day, if someone were to threaten the safety of the Melazines, people wouldn't just sit back and do nothing. I trust that they would make different choices from before. That's right! We saw lots of people standing up for Melazines on our way back to the Palais Mermonia. Monsieur Nivillette, the Melazines are a species you introduced to Fontaine. How the public treats them is also reflective of their attitude towards you. When people refused to place their trust in Melazines, it was because they were still on the fence about you, their unfamiliar Chief Justice. For almost 500 years, you've conducted every trial with impartiality. You made the right judgment each time, regardless of whatever nonsense went on. People no longer have any reservations about you, and even consider you a symbol of the law. Right now, your every decision will impact all of Fontaine. In other words, you've gradually transformed the whole nation. Hyman gets it now. No wonder no one wanted to join forces with Dominico. Tries like that won't ever happen again. I am undeserving of such high compliments. From my perspective, I have simply been fulfilling my duties. It isn't anything special or worthy of praise. I'm simply fulfilling the promises I've made and searching for answers through my judgments. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. The complexity of human emotions and willpower far exceed those of mine. As a matter of fact, I believe that you are the ones who deserve my respect. There's no need to be so modest. The current state of affairs says it all. 
You're no longer that outsider you were before. Even if you wished to investigate something on your own, many would take the initiative to lend you a hand. I must say that you've made a fair point. Thank you for clearing my doubts. Now that the case has been settled, I should get going. I'm so glad that this story quest does not focus on an NPC getting the shine light. Cause it didn't make sense for that to happen in fucking um Homegirl's story quest, the Hydro Sword user. It didn't make sense for it to happen in her story quest when it was her supposed to be focusing on her. Nouvellet, on the other hand, thank goodness they put NPCs, a little bit of NPCs while the rest were playable ca playable characters or important characters. And so soon, too? Why not stay for a cup of tea? Thank you for the offer, but I know how this place works all too well. While some are here to redeem themselves, there will inevitably be those who harbor resentment towards me. The less time I spend here, the better. My presence could very well result in an unwanted disturbance. In that case, I'll have to insist. I still have two more things to say. Please, go ahead. The first is about the guard who helped Dominico send that letter. Ah, I know of what you speak. The guard was indeed deployed from the Palais Memoria's staff. However, as I mentioned earlier, I visited today on personal business. Therefore, I leave that matter in your hands. Well, that makes things a lot easier. You're not going to... Hey now, don't let your imagination run wild. Those from up there have a tendency to sympathize with others. However, down here, such thoughts will put you at high risk. I'll have a chat with the guard and remind him to take precautions in the future. I see no issues with that. <laughs> Great! That's one thing out of the way. Uh, what's the other thing you wanted to say? The other thing was born from my own sense of curiosity. Now, I've heard that you investigated the mutual aid network. Is that right? Yep. Yep. Never let that their badges look familiar. I noticed the small gang as well when I first took over the fortress of Meripede. They were not great in number, but every member always made sure to stand up for what was right. I've looked into their founder, Vautrin, who once stood trial and was sentenced to imprisonment in the fortress. According to existing documentation, Vautrin remained disciplined throughout his imprisonment. He had never once engaged in physical or verbal aggression. In other words, how he presented himself in prison was very different from his behavior in court. What? Doesn't he hate Nouvellet? During his trial, I could sense that his feelings were complicated. He appeared to be full of resentment, and I believe he had every right to feel that way. Perhaps he had been putting on an act. An act? Nervillet and Vautrin had a close relationship as superior and subordinate. Vautrin must have known that the Chief Justice would make an impartial judgment. Thus, the more resentment he displayed, the clearer it would be to those present that you were upholding justice. And to those who had been sitting on the fence, Vautrin's act was a very meaningful one. <sighs> That's all from me. Does anyone else have anything to say? Now's your chance. Okay, I'm gonna say what I got to say. That nigga Voltrin, Voltrin, goat, the goat. Both Chlorin and Voltrin, W niggas for real. The true rider dies. Both put on an act. Both sacrifice their life for Nouvellet so that he can stay. He can be the symbol of Fontaine's justice, so he can be that guy, that goat that everybody been wishing to see six since his banner came out. Like, come on. I don't have anything to say. Apart from expressing my gratitude, that is. Well then, let us head back. No need to see us off. See you later, Risley. And your story quest, and I'm wishing Please, for your character. Take care. Can't wait for the punchy boy to finally come out, bro. It's taking too long. I only got like what eight, nine days left. I swear this week needs to fly by. Hmm? What's this about? Am 
My bad. Something just happened right now. Uh, where are we at? Fuck. Oh, there you go. That trial is something I rarely bring up in conversation, but I have always felt deep regret for what happened to both Carol and Vautran. The words he spoke in court often replay in my mind, as if urging me on to do something. But Risley said he never resented you, right? Isn't that a good thing? I believe I now understand what he wanted to tell me. I feel conflicted about those words. How should I describe it? Surprise, relief, fear, and regret. But this blend of emotions has led me to finally understand some things. I would like to hear your thoughts, too. What do you think of me? Paimon agrees with everything Risley said. Justice, every single one of your trials makes an impact on Fontaine. What do you think, Traveler? I think you're a goat. You play the role of being the symbol of justice for your nation accordingly as how you should. You should not play the role of a chief justice and be so quick to flip-flop sides. You have to be apathetic and you play that role to the letter and the correct way as well. What I really think is... Oh, shit. Every trial you've ever judged has left its impression on you. And that's what makes you who you are today. As the Hydro Dragon Sovereign, Nouvellet still thinks of himself as an outsider due to his identity. But so much time has passed since then. Perhaps the lines between him and humans have long since blurred. That is indeed a reasonable assumption. As I said, I find it difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself but I trust your judgment since some time ago I have begun to notice the changes that have occurred upon my person these changes were not due to any specific occurrence but emerged as a result of time itself I will try to contemplate this further thank you both raining again I've had enough of this weather uh, there go my travel plans did you read the news this morning quick put away everything on the clothesline <sighs> when is this rain going to stop <laughs> hydro dragon hydro dragon don't cry Planning to reanimate the monster. We have to report this to the Chief Justice. The Fortress of Meripede. It's a good place for me. Now, this is a character story quest. He owes me so many answers. Nervilet? Hmm. You could say he's the real symbol of Fontaine's justice. Watch him closely. He could be trouble. How can two completely different species possibly coexist? Who's been threatening Melisines? Show yourself! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, 
When you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. Good morning, Monsieur Nouvellet! The rainy season's almost over! <laughs> the skies are supposed to clear in a few days! I hope you find time to enjoy the sunny days ahead. King right here. <laughs> Yo, throw that smile on Nouvellet. Let's go. Oh, the squad here. Is the matter resolved? Yep, we found the person who sent that threatening letter. Risley said he'd keep a close eye on him, so the Melusine should be safe now. Oh, that's wonderful. Sorry for dragging you all into this. There's no need to apologize. Yeah, you didn't drag us in. We got involved of our own accord. Uh, by the way, where's Kiara? At the Palais Marmonia. More than 50 people offered to protect her. Some even hid within the bushes to look out for danger. I was worried that the excess of protection would make her feel uneasy. So I asked her to stay inside the palais. It's very safe in there. <sighs> what a relief! Well now, it looks like the dust has finally settled. To celebrate this joyous occasion, Monsieur Nouvellet, would you be interested in an exclusive interview? That's not how you celebrate! I will consider it. <gasps> really? Of course. My schedule is full for the following weeks, but I should be available next month. Damn. Come up with questions during the intervening days, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. She can't speak. Yes! Thank you so much, monsieur! Now, if you'll excuse me, I must head back to the Palais and issue a communique to publicize our investigation results. I hope it will assuage the concerns of all. I hear the music? The music bumping right now. Oh, an exclusive interview! Am I dreaming? What should I ask him? Don't let anything hold you back. Make the most of this opportunity, and ask away! I agree. He'll decline any question he can't answer anyway. So you might as well give all of them a shot. He's in here just snoozing! Goodness gracious. Kiara. <sighs> Monsieur Nouvellet? Sorry, I accidentally fell asleep. It's quite all right. I'm here to tell you that we have caught the sender of that threatening letter. You're safe now. Thank you, Monsieur. And thank you too, Traveler and Big Sis Paimon. Everyone's been so nice to me. So I've always felt really safe. Do you remember Domenico? He was the sender of that letter. Let me think. <sighs> My memory isn't that good, so I easily forget things. By the way, I saw Carol in my dreams just now. Hmm. Where's she gone, by the way? I haven't seen her in a long time. Uh... In my dream, she looked really happy. She held my hand and said, Kiara, our dreams have finally come true. I can't remember what our dreams were anymore, and I don't know why. But I felt really happy too. 
I can sense your joy. It is indeed a delightful moment. <laughs> Monsieur Nevillette, are you happy too? Oh, I almost forgot! Am I allowed to go out now? I promised to model for Alof! Of course. Off you go. See you next time, Monsieur Traveler and Big Sis Paimon! See you later. See you next time. What an awesome story quest. And it keeps saying act one complete, act this complete. Nigga, y'all better just start releasing act two. The fact that Yoi Mia got an act two surprised the ever loving sh out of me. <sighs> I really can't fathom what goes on in her head sometimes. Hmm, there's something right here to look at. Away for personal reasons, we'll be back in a day. Farina's reply, personal reasons? Oh me, oh my, has our Chief Justice finally come to his senses? If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times. You should follow my example and get out more often. You need to get to know your people better. Even if something unfortunate happens, you still run into lots of unique characters along the way. What do you think? The human world isn't too bad now, is it? Well, really, well, from how that comment was, it sort of submits the fact that Farina is, in fact, a god, but she has a curse upon her. So, I hope we find out what that curse is. Later. Hello. Welcome. I just got done finishing <clears throat> New Village Story Quest, and <coughs> I am legitly on the edge of my damn seat to wish for this dude or not. And I just finished his story quest. I can see the, mo the mother effort behind me. Hold on, let me... See if like what I can get with these little extra primos. I can get at least one more. That's as much as I can get. I hope that I can pull a copy of both Nouvellet and one more copy of Risley before 4.2 comes. Oh wait, yeah, before 4.2 comes through the door. So we gotta do it. Hopefully I get them within 20 pulls and it's a wrap. So let's start. It's about to get crazy. Holy sh <laughs> Please let it just be him. Please don't give me no other four five star. Please for the love that's everything that's holy in this world. Please don't do me dirty. It was one temple. That was it. Give me one copy. I just want one. Ah, oh, this son of a bit D look, bro. Screw you, D-Luke. Anyway. Let's go again. 10. Twenty. Wait, what was that? Oh. This is 20. Thirty. Fifty. Well, fifty one, actually. Fifty. Uh, sixty. Oh, cool, got to go. Please don't let this be a waste of wishes. Please give me something. Give me something, please. I got 50 more wishes left. I have genuinely lost count. Please don't give me no other five star by him. Thank you. 
That's all I want. Just one copy. Cool. That's great. Splendid. Perfect. 30 wishes. Since I just hit him, so that means I was 100 within 10 wish pull from the last segment of wishes I did, which was like 83 plus 10. That was 93. So I got him as pity. No, that mean I was I was hell, I was deep in pity. That mean I did 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. 60, 70, 80. I think I did pity again twice or deep pity again. But nonetheless, I got him. Just did his story quest. You see the homie right there? Now, let's go ahead and find this dude. Boom. Check him out. My dragon sovereign in my hands. What a dope character. Give me a second. Da -da -da. Follow. I really shouldn't be honest. I shouldn't have wished for them for him. I really shouldn't have wished for this character. I shouldn't have done it. I really shouldn't have done it. Hold up. I shouldn't have wished for him, but I did it anyway because his story quest was just too peak, and I was like, everyone gassing this character up about being awesome, this, that, and the third. I had to wish for him. I couldn't sit back and not wish for the character. You feel me? Even though Risley is the mother effort I want to get, I was gonna skip Duvalet, but I just couldn't. But it's fine and dandy, you know. If I gotta put a little more extra coin in here so I can be able to get him without with get Risley with certainty when he come out, that's fine and dandy. I'm gonna do that because I wanna. And then from that point on, where I'm just gonna be saving primos, I'm be going hoarding, hoard, going around hoarding primos, doing world quests and all that other cool stuff, and. And um, saving up my primos for Farina because Farina is coming out in 4.2, uh, and that's gonna be a good grip from now. You feel me? Now, what weapon type did I see was good for him? This weapon right here, the Frost Bearer, I'm saving this for Risley because he gonna work perfect for it. I forgot what thing niggas was talking about to use for this dude. Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know what sacrificial fragment. Okay, w whatever. I'm just gonna let me uh, let me uh, let me um. I'm gonna take this from Sucrose and store it on them. How that looks? 400 artifacts. Golden troop. I know golden troops work for them. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now the next to the hunter set, which uh. Ooh. There's nothing here for that. Oh boy. This is fine. And then for this, I guess I'm gonna throw elemental. Ooh, what's this? Ocean clam? What the, what the hell is this? Oh, this is a healing artifact. I don't need this. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um, I almost did. Oh. The elix the exiles? Exiles flower, right? Okay. I need an exile piece. This is gonna be great. Wait, what was on it? HP crit rate. Oh, that's great. Now I just gotta level up these and then we, we gun dandy. Let's go. I'm gonna get Farina, damn it. I'm gonna get Farina. I'm not gonna let her banner pass me by and I not get her. This is not happening. I'm telling you right now. Geo Archon, Animo, Electro, Dendro, Riley. Hmm, what? Okay, so there's only about a set number of people he knows he talks about in his voice lines, but that's fine and dandy. And with that. It's D Luke lame ass. He <laughs> anyway, but with that, um, yeah, this concludes um Nublet Story Quest. Deuces.